Glory to Ukraine! Another humiliating and catastrophic defeat for Russia in the war with Ukraine. This is a point of no return. Pride has turned into disgrace. The missile advertised as Putin's super advanced creation that everyone should have envied turned out to be a hoax. The developers have already been thrown behind bars. We are talking about the infamous and highly classified missile Kinjal, or the Dagger, which is considered hypersonic and a super development associated with Putin. This missile was advertised in Moscow as having extraordinary capabilities, being the only one in the world that is practically impossible to intercept by missile defense systems. This weapon was presented personally by the President of the Russian Federation Vladimir Putin in his address to the Federal Assembly of the Russian Federation in 2018. And since then he has boasted about the weapon even more often than he has met with his oncologist. He talked about the incredible capabilities of the weapon as it came from the science fiction movies. No one can even dream of such a thing, said the dictator. But recently, in Kyiv during the shelling by Russia, the Kinjal missile was intercepted by the American Patriot system, developed in the 80s of the last century. Imagine this for the first time in human history. Ukrainian military scientists have already dismantled the missile and shared its contents with their colleagues at the Pentagon so they can study the guts of Putin's top-secret weapon and make it easier for Americans to combat such missiles. It turns out that if Washington can shoot down these missiles, all nuclear threats from the Kremlin are nothing but empty words. The contents of the down Kinjal missile have been unveiled, shedding light on the secret of Putin's superweapon. Ukrainian military experts who managed to analyze the intercepted missile discovered guidance system, propulsion technology and a warhead. Well, for your understanding, the missile is called H-47M2, you see, and it's the Kinjal missile itself. This is a missile complex that is mounted on the MiG-31. The missile itself has the mark in 9S7760, you see? All the parts that we have contain mark in 7760, well, that's the serial number. We didn't take any part that doesn't have such markings, because it's present everywhere. Secondly, you see how thick it is? And the explosive material used is very interesting. It is found only in Kinjal and Iskander missiles. The internal volume amounts to approximately 88 liters. According to our calculations, it is filled with 150 kilograms of explosive material, which is equivalent to about 240 kilograms of TNT. The bottom here is dented, and the lower part and explosive material have fallen out of it. We collected everything in the areas of the impact, identified the explosive material and determined that it is octagon. These missiles can also be equipped with a nuclear warhead. From that side a nuclear warhead is inserted into the missiles and the same warhead is mounted, but nuclear. But now Biden will definitely know how to counteract it because his scientists will surely receive these research samples from Zelensky. By the way, in Moscow they have already found those responsible for the loss of top-secret information. The scientists paid the price for the downed Kinjal missiles over Kyiv because they were the ones assuring Putin that these missiles were impossible to intercept. That's why three developers of the Kinjal missile were arrested in Russia. Alexander Shiplup, the director of the Institute of Precision and Applied Mechanics, Valery Zvagintsev, a doctor of technical sciences and founder of High Speed Aerodynamics Laboratory, and Anatoly Maslov, the chief researcher of this institute. They are accused of transferring confidential data to adversaries, but in reality, I think it all boils down to the fact that the Kinjal missiles are being shot down. It's worth noting that despite all sanctions, Russia is still able to produce up to 70 missiles monthly, including the newest Kinjals.